All right, so this is the uh, final video clip. This is from the repair. So you can see everything is uh, all nice and painted up. And the suction head's back to the same height at which we started at. Got the vent pipes painted up. Uh, hopefully that helps folks seeing them, mower folks, so they don't run into them too much. Actually, there is not, there's very little damage on any of these. So it looks like whoever's been mowing and doing landscaping have been doing a good job. Uh, sometimes there's protective bollards that get put in, but uh, they weren't put in on this job and it does appear to be okay. And being struck, that was not the reason the head uh, was broken. So if you remember the initial video, we saw that it was cracked up on top and it had no strainer on the inside. So this is a uh, ETT strainer, or excuse me, suction head. Let me take the cap off and see what's inside. has a uh, conical strainer which works out nice what happens there is if it does suck up stuff that gets taken to the outer edges so that you can still take water through the middle so it works well it doesn't really restrict flow uh, any of any significance we've tested it before it's not a big deal so uh, that was our installation finished up happy to get the folks back in service uh, it's going to be a church and the church has this tank that they have to have working in order to have occupancy so easy repair. Uh, fortunately, other things weren't damaged. Just had to get a better head on. And again, uh, remember the, the cause of the whole problem was somebody tried to build a dry hydrant head. We just generally recommend buying one from a manufacturer designed for fire department use.